Good morning. Uh, I would like to offer this uh, mass for reconciliation and uh, harmony. So we pray for um, each other, for all our neighbors and citizens of our country. So we begin our worship. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the coming of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. As we have gathered together this morning as a community of believers in the Lord, we take a moment to recognize our own failings and shortcomings, and we ask God's and one's forgiveness, and we pray for harmony and the reconciliation in the country. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord have, mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that we may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever. And Eva? Amen. Amen. First reading from the Hebrews. He had to become like his brothers and sisters in every way, that he might be merciful. Since the children share in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them, that though death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who, through fear of death, had been subject to slavery all their life. Surely he did not help angels, but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every way, that he might be merciful and faithful, high priest before God to expiate the sins of the people, because he himself was tested through what he suffered. He is able to help those who are being tested. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord, Lord remembers his, his covenant, covenant forever. forever. Give thanks to the Lord, invoke his name, make known among the nations his deeds. Sing to him, sing his praise. Proclaim all his wondrous deeds. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones. He, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. On leaving the synagogue, Jesus entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Simon's mother-in-law lay sick with a fever. They immediately told him about her. He approached, grasped her hand, and helped her up. Then the fever left her, and she waited on them. When it was evening, after sunset, they brought to him all who were ill or possessed by demons. 
The whole town was gathered at the door. He cured many who were sick with various diseases, and he drove out many demons, not permitting them to speak, because they knew him. Rising very early before dawn, he left and went off to a deserted place where he prayed. Simon and those who were with him pursued him, and on finding him said, Everyone is looking for you. He told them, Let us go on to the nearby villages, that I may preach there also. For this purpose have I come. So he went into their synagogues, preaching and driving out demons throughout the whole of Galilee. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Let us take a moment to allow God's words to find home in our hearts. Yesterday we reflected how Jesus had authority to preach as well as to cast out demons, possessed ones. And today he further extends to reach out to people who are very close to him. People like Simon, Andrew, James and John. In a very concrete way, he heals Simon's mother-in-law. And that's a beautiful gesture. A gesture not just in words, but also in deeds. When people believe in him, he takes care of their needs, their troubles and problems. But he does not stop there. But rather, he wants to move out to the other regions, to other people. And so much though, that so many people were kind of attracted toward him, definitely by his charisma, but also the faith that they had in him, that he could make a difference in their lives. And therefore, we as a community of believers, having tremendous deep faith in God. Let us not close ourselves to our own immediate family members and neighbors, but we are called, like the disciples who were with Jesus, to move out, to find people, though they may not close to us, though they may be strangers to us, though they may not like our ideas and views. It is to them that we need to reach out today, now, here and now. So let us pray for this grace of openness as we pray for reconciliation harmony. And let that harmony begin within our hearts. And that harmony, let us be generous enough to share with everyone joyfully. And for that grace, we pray in this Eucharist. So let's bring our prayers before the Lord. Let us pray for the church, especially for Pope Francis, for his good health, understanding and wisdom to guide the faithful. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for our country Let's pray for harmony and reconciliation, unity and peace. Though there may be differences of opinions and ideas and attitudes that may understand that we are all brothers and sisters and children of God. And may this transition of new administration of power may happen smoothly and the leaders 
may govern the people for the welfare of everyone. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Let us pray for healing. Healing on those who are suffering because of this pandemic, because of so many other bodily diseases, that they may not give up hope, but rather believe in the Lord and may receive a lasting healing and the comfort that we need, that we receive. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord let us pray for all those people who have given their lives to proclaim God's words, to bring about God's peace, justice and love in different parts of the world that may continue to strive hard to bring about God's kingdom. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord let us pray for Wilfredo Vargas Valse. May the gracious Lord grant him eternal rest. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord and your prayers. Merciful Father, as just a few weeks ago that we celebrated the birth of your son, the Prince of Peace, may he continue to give us a lasting peace, reconciliation and harmony in us and all around us and all the people in the country and in the world. And so we have raised our hearts and prayers in confidence that you would answer them all. And we ask you to bless each one of us and our prayers. And we ask you to fulfill them according to your will through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of creation. Through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of Blessed are you, Lord God of creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine, one work of human hands, so become our spiritual drink. Yes. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray that our sacrifice may be accepted to God the Almighty Father. Praise the glory of God's name. Very good and good of all his name. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, and it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devotely entreat through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just that we should always give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for you do not cease to spur us on to possess a more abundant life, and being rich in mercy, you constantly offer pardon and call on sinners to trust. You have found bound the human family to yourself through Jesus, your Son, our Redeemer, with a new bond of love so tight that it can never be undone. Even now, you set before your people a time of grace and reconciliation. And as they turn back to you in spirit, you grant them hope in Christ Jesus 
and the desire to be of service to all while they entrust themselves more fully to the Holy Spirit. And so, filled with wonder, we extol the power of your love, and proclaiming our joy and the salvation that comes from you, we join in the heavenly hymn of countless hosts, as with the end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God of God, Lord, 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 full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed be you, and the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed Holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning, are ceaselessly at work, so the human race may become holy, just as yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings and pour out on them the power of your Spirit that may become the body and the blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love for your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself, through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of wine and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. But this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim therefore as we celebrate the memory of your son Jesus Christ who is our Passover and our surest peace we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead and looking forward to his blessed coming we offer you who are our faithful and merciful God the sacrificial victim who reconcile us to the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite yourself to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis, our Pope, Oscar, our Bishop, and all the faithful that we are gathered to yourself. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, our spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then, freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence in the words our Savior gave us, our Father. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, and the power, and the glory, 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 and the
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Let us pray for peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter our family. And we say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring a saving of mind and body.
Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, we graciously be pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with the lives pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's win peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Thank you.